In this video, Kevin and I are going to share with you what we got for Christmas 2020. Uh, we have had all of our celebrations and gotten everything, and honestly, we weren't expecting to get everything that we got. Mm. Uh, we, never, we don't expect to get anything, honestly. Nobody has to get us anything. We really love giving to other people. Uh, but we did get some, uh, some really fun gifts. Um, and Kevin got some duplicates, which you'll see. Uh, so we're just going to show you um, everything. But if you're wondering uh, why are these people showing us this, it's because it was a requested video. This is it's been requested. Uh, people want to see what we got for Christmas. And so hopefully, if you have clicked on this video, you want <laughs> you were one of the people that wanted to see what we got for Christmas. So I'm just going to show you. Um, this is from my aunt, and this is a. Uh, uh, cream pitcher, milk pitcher, and then a sugar bowl, and then it has this little tray that it sits on, so that will be something um, that we can use next Christmas, and you don't have to use it for um, uh, those purposes. You know, you could always just have it out as decoration and have candy canes or something yeah, like that. Flowers or something. Yeah, anything. So, she got me that. She got that for Kevin and I. And then she also got us these Christmas mugs. And one says, naughty until proven nice, and nice until proven naughty. So those are our mugs. And I'm not going to, because Christmas is over now, I'm not going to take them even out of the box because I'm gonna store them until next year. This way they won't get broken if they're in this box. So I'm just gonna put them up exactly like this until next year. And then when I pull them out, it'll be like, oh, I forgot we got yeah. those new cups. Um, so we got those, and then my aunt also gave me, she gave me a DW Home. This is a uh, uh, Peony Petals. This is a candle. I get to smell it. Mm, it smells wonderful. It smells just like the flower, oh, wow. which is That's my... Almost rose like. That's that. it is almost rose like. I thought that. It's very good though. It's um, nice. very very strong. But peonies are my favorite flowers. They're my. It's a. They have huge, but they almost look kind of like a carnation. They're but they're huge uh, flowers. They're beautiful. And they're bushes, right? Yes. Yeah, we've tried to grow like three or four of them, and they never they never well, flower. They grow. We've got they don't some flower. that are growing out front. Hopefully, in the next few years, they will flower. We'll see. Yeah, they grew. But and got no leaves, flowers but no flowers. And they even got buds on if you don't. We're still they never waiting. Actually got any. Yeah, we're waiting. Um, she also gave me, because she knows I'm a foodie, uh, she gave me some of the Harry and David Moose Munch. This is just the premium popcorn. Uh, so it's, popcorn. it's the milk chocolate. Yes, we have reviewed this before on the channel, and it is, it's very good quality popcorn. And then she gave us the Trader Joe's. We've never tried this. This is Trader Joe's Apple Cider Fruit Spread. And so, like I said, we've never tried that before. We'll have to do a review uh, of this Christmas present on the channel since uh, since we've never tried it. And Kevin and I both like apple cider anyway, mm -hmm. and I like toast. Um, so uh, this is the same calories as my toast. So, so we'll have to try that. Um, then, uh, let me see. I'll show you what we got uh, from my sister. Uh, first of all, she said... Um, <laughs> It's a nice bag. It is a very nice bag. I guess they got that free when they bought they so much. They did. They said, uh, I said, do you want your bag back? It's like a uh, burlap. Yeah, it's, like canvas. Canvas. It's, more of a canvas, it's canvas. Yeah. And um, it gathers it's heavy. the top. Yeah, it's a thick bag. It's very nice. And I said, do you want your bag back? And she said, no. She said, it came with the presents. So I'm going to show you what she got us, and then I'll tell you, some of you might know, I had no idea. Um, I'll tell you where she got these. So she got Kevin. Kevin, do you want to show yours? And can you read what it says? It says... Uh, I can hold it up. I can't read through. Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. Which is and, not true. And, and that is a Dwight Schrute from The Office. Yeah. And so then she got me a hoodie because she knows that I... She knows yeah, I don't really wear hoodies. I love hoodies. So you will be seeing this in reviews of The Child from The Mandalorian. It's cute. And yes, I love this. It's a pretty heavy hoodie, too. It, yes, yeah, it's nice. And then she got us, um, she got us each one of these. And I actually have the right one. You have your size, and I have my size. <laughs> 
So she got us each these shirts, which I think are so cute. Um, and the place that she got all these, the the the, uh, the four, uh, the three shirt, the t-shirts, the sweatshirt, um, was GameStop. Yeah, I wonder what she got me. We've uh, Kevin and I have not been in GameStop in probably oh, years. years and years and years. I mean, it seems like Andrew was a teenager since I was last in a GameStop. I haven't actually bought it. I used to go in GameStop and look. Right. But I never, I very rarely ever bought anything there because they didn't. I was always in computer games, and they they're more of a console game. Place. Right. So they sold a few computer games, but they were all like crappy games. <laughs> so so Old when games. she bought these shirts from GameStop, they gave her the bag guess, for free, yeah. which I think is really, really cool. cool. Um so um then Ashley Ashley gave me um let me show you these first. So um the backstory of these these are candles from the Magic Candle Company. And I watched the Diz, the channel, the Diz and Diz Unplugged on YouTube. It's a YouTube channel. Well, they promote, um, they are partnered with a candle company called Magic Candle Company. And they're always giving out this promo code, like to save 15% or something, you type in the Diz or something like that. I'm not sure of the code right this, at this moment. But I've always wanted to order from the Magic Candle Company, and then I thought, but I don't want to spend my own money. And that sounds awful, but I thought, if Andrew or Ashley ever ask me what I would like to have for Christmas, I'm going to tell them I would like some candles from the Magic Candle Company, because it's completely frivolous and something I wouldn't buy for myself. So, Ashley, I gave her the code to save the money. And Ashley ordered me three candles from the Magic Candle Company. She, these are all, um, you, if you go there, there are places that smell the same as the scents they use at Walt Disney World. So, like, they have one called, um, uh, what is that hotel that's right next to the, um, Magic Kingdom. Not the Grand Floridian. No. They have one, the Grand Floridian, that smells like the Grand Floridian, the Contemporary. They have mm. one of the Contemporary. They have one of, called the Haunted, Haunted Mansion. And um, they have they have all kinds. They have, I think they have one that smells like Pop Century Resort. If I I'm can't honest. imagine what they, the Haunted Mansion would The smell. Haunted Mansion, yes. Because it always just place, smells like... Air conditioning. Okay, another <laughs> example is like they have Pirates of the Caribbean. It sea actually like smells like when you're on the ride, Pirates of the Caribbean. The water. So the ones that I requested, believe it or not, I didn't request the Haunted Mansion. I would have, but I really wanted these more. I like um, food scents. And so this one is just called uh, Bakery. And uh, they, she said they're all small. She said they didn't have any bigger ones. Yeah, if you want to show the inside. She said they didn't have any like uh, cake. come in a bigger size. Yeah, and- And um, they have wood wicks too, so they do that little pop, pop in a crack. Yes. Thing. So- That smells good. A, that smells like a vanilla cup. It actually vanilla says cake. what it is. Huh. It says, step back in time with our delicious bakery scent. This fragrance features a sweet confection of butter frosting and yellow cake yeah. that will have your endorphins kicking uh, and your mouth watering. So yeah. that's that that's one. Second, that smells like that to me. I'll save that for last. That's the best smell one. This one is called... Well, let, me, let me read. Let me smell it okay. before reading it. This one's called confectionery. So you're gonna, he's going to test his nose. Confectionery. Hmm. It smells like a sugar cookie. This Not one. Not quite as vanilla. Is harken back to the old fashioned candy shop where delightful treats are made. This scent features a sweet and sugary aroma with just a hint of raspberry. Oh. I could see that. You know, I was going to say berry. You do. I was going to say berry, but you it's really like, do no, get berry. there's berry in a confectionery. I know. That is different. Okay. And this is the best smell of one. This yeah, one, I smelled this one. This one is called My Mouse Waffles, and yeah, when, it I like maple this, when I opened it out in the living room, um, John, Jennifer's husband, was across the room, and he could smell it. Yeah. And he said, oh, that's my kind of candle right there. This is, it says, this scent features a warm batter and sweet maple syrup mm -hmm. scent, which delivers the unmistakable aroma of waffles. So it does. It kind of reminds you of waffles. It smells incredible. So she got me those. Those are from Ashley. Ashley also got me this Beetlejuice and Lydia t-shirt. 
From the cartoon. Um, yes, which I absolutely love. But I love those candles, dearly love those candles. But I'm gonna show you something that I've wanted for years. The handbook for the recently deceased. If you've um, never watched the movie. If you've never watched the movie, Beetlejuice. Be this is from the movie Beetlejuice, the handbook for the recently deceased. Uh, you can buy like book jackets and put them around your own old book because there's not an actual like book book. And, and when you see them on eBay or something that it looks like they're in an old book, they will tell you in those eBay listings that they just grabbed a ra uh, random book. It could be a Bible and they just put like a wrapper around a book jacket around it. This is actually just a notebook with uh, white pages in it. Just uh, but I will leave this out year round on the end table because I love it. Because it's from the movie and I, I adore it. And she's wanted it for years. I have, yes, I have wanted it for many, many years and finally have it. So I'm just thrilled to death. Now show what Ashley got you. Uh, Ashley bought me and it was in my cart on Amazon because I was saving it because I was going to buy it for myself. Um, this one is the Metal Earth, which you knew it would be a Metal Earth. It's the Harry Potter Hogwarts in Snow. And it's a big one. Yeah, and it's it's big. I think it's like four and sheets in here. It's almost it? on hard. It's one level up from yeah, hard. There's four so. sheets in here, and so it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be so, very tight. So I actually bought this because I had it in my cart. So do you want me to show? Yes. So Andrew also bought me Hogwarts <laughs> because he asked me what I wanted, and this was one of the things I said. I said I, I've been wanting this Middle Earth thing. If you want to give me this, this was a couple months ago. Yes. And. Um, and he said, no, I always get a Metal Earth. I'm not going to get you a Metal Earth this year. So when Ashley, Ashley said, hey, you got this in your cart. I'm going to order it for you. We then, said, okay. Then because... I said, sure, because Andrew said he wasn't going to. Then he ended up buying and it then one Andrew anyway. Bought it anyway. It's like, dang on it. Yeah, so now he has <laughs> two. So what he's going to try to do. I'm going to see if Amazon will take back the one Ashley bought through her Amazon account. Right, and if they won't, then. Um... I'll put them together and. Give one name or yeah, we'll, we'll, because Ashley won't want it. No, but. Ashley won't want it, but yeah, we'll do because if they're not, if they won't take it back, or if they'll charge too much shipping to make it worth your while. Yeah, if they're gonna charge you shipping, I mean, I could probably find a store that had them and take it back to them and say I got it for Christmas, but I don't know who would have them. I, around yeah, here. because I have never seen no. Hogwarts uh, because usually the Metal Earths that you see are about fifteen, uh, fifteen dollars. Oh, they have the same this sticker one, on there. Um, no, they're different numbers. No, uh, 822Z and 822Z. Yeah, so, one yeah. with the barcode though. If you go yes. one place is one sticker and another, no, another it's, sticker. it's the exact same number. Yeah, oh, the, no, the barcodes look the same. Okay. Yeah, it's it's literally the exact yeah. same barcode. So, so, if we could find a store that took them back, I would take it back to like. The, like Hobby Lobby sells these, but I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this. Never one. seen Hogwarts at Hobby yeah. Lobbies, or we would, or Hobby Lobby, or we would have bought it before. Um, so, so, so I did get a duplicate. Yes. Do you want to show those or? Um, you could show. You could. It, you I've got it. the okay. Sure. So Andrew and Christina, they got me. Um, you know they know me very very well, and they got me these Harrods pot holders. They're which cute. I love these and yes they are um, not new they're previously used but I absolutely love them I I don't think Kevin and I ever went in the kitchen section at Harrods we went like in the food and because um, we weren't gonna buy kitchen utensils that's what that's the area I know we in. went in there with uh, Jennifer Nathan and Mike did we, we have, went through there pretty and then quick, we uh, went back by ourselves yeah we went through with Jennifer Nathan and Mike pretty quick because we went mostly to just the food section yes but then we went back by, by ourselves and at, at, at on the another side. trip yeah. and we went directly to the food so we didn't yeah we didn't go to the kitchen section at all so we never saw these but I think they're absolutely adorable mm -hmm. and it doesn't bother me that they were uh, that somebody else bought them because somebody else had to have gone there or I would think because who would know that these even existed but I think they're they're awesome I wonder if the tag gives a date I didn't think to look at the date it says made in England by Cuckoo Bird and they're made in Kent huh. that's cool 
That is so cool. I didn't know if it would have like a date, uh, but I don't see a date on there. That would have been neat if it had had a date. So they got me that. And then just like Ashley requested, uh, asked me what I would like, and I told her the magic candles, Christina and Andrew did the same thing. And from them, I requested a Starbucks mug. Yeah, so, she told them two, and she said, whichever one you can yes. find. I gave them right. a choice of two, and I'll tell you the two that I gave them. Um, I gave them um, Hamburg, which Hamburg, uh, Hamburg, Germany. So I said I would like either Hamburg, Germany, or I would like Amsterdam. And so they got me Amsterdam. Um, and I, I just absolutely love it. I need to add that to your list. Too. So, oh, you haven't done it yet? I don't think so. See, I think you did because oh, I, I laid did. it. I laid it by Oh yeah, back. I did that. Okay. Yeah. So I have a list. If you don't know, I have a list um, underneath uh, this video. There's a description, and I have a list of my collection. Yeah, because I laid it in there. I remember that. But um, this, it was very, very expensive. It was probably three times the amount that you buy them for new. Because when you buy them from uh, Starbucks, they're usually fifteen to twenty dollars. And so, because this one is that they're not making the You Are Here collection any longer, you're going to pay a lot for it. Plus, it's from overseas. It's from Amsterdam. So, that means it's going to cost even more. So, this is another one of those very frivolous gifts. I didn't need it, but I knew that it was something that I would never buy for myself. So, what I'm hoping is they'll keep asking me every every holiday. And, you'll find and I'll, I'll give them another, another mug. Uh, please get me this mug next. Yeah. Give me this, you know, and I can keep giving them mugs till the cows come home. Uh, but I absolutely love that. And then the, the last thing was Andrew and Christina gave me um, these, what did what you say? Podden? Podden? Podden. Podden. Here you can open that one. Uh, these are knives. You Podden. Do, you do like this is a paring knife. Okay. Yeah. And I think this is a chef's knife. Yeah, chef knife. Ooh, it has a wooden handle. It, it's got a nice handle. So I took mine out. I'll show it to you. We've got to wash them. Anyway. And Kevin loves, um, yeah, we have to wash it. I didn't, we didn't want to do anything with it until you saw it. Kevin loves uh, to get kitchen utensils. Ooh, this blade. one has a... Um, you see the blade? Oh, yeah. The blade has like a, a pattern on it. That's really cool. Yeah, Did that's... you see that pattern? It almost looks like wood on the, oh, on yeah. the blade. That's a very, very But I like the handle. That's a, that's a nice, that feels nice in your hand. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, this is even nice. Yeah. Really nice. So that's nice. So are you gonna keep these? Or? No, that just keeps it from um, coming through the packaging. I mean, that's that's a nice, yeah, very a nice, nice knife. Yeah, sharp as but, yeah, razors. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm wash those. <laughs> so, so they got me that too. So they didn't just give me the Mel Earth, they also got me this, which is pretty cool. So we got some uh, some wonderful, wonderful gifts. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, we weren't expecting anything. If they hadn't have given us a thing, we would have been, been fine. fine. Uh, but it was nice uh, that if, since they were going to get us something, that they said, "Hey, what would you like?" Because Kevin was able to recommend that metal art. Yeah. And and um, and then I was able to to give immediately because used to when they would say what do you want i'd be like oh i have no idea well these days i collect those starbucks mugs yeah so you've always got something i've always got something that they can give me in this book i have truly wanted this to just i know it sounds so silly that i just want to set it in there on the end table but i just do it means just like a we have a bell me. from the um the, the hotel the um, hollywood tower yeah, hotel hollywood it just tower means hotel. a lot to, it's cool. meaningful to me yeah. uh so if you want to, in the comments below, tell me um, if you did get something for Christmas. If you didn't, that's okay. But if you did get something, if you had a favorite gift, I would love to know what your favorite gift was. Or if you have a collection and, and do your parents or do your loved ones or somebody add to your collection every year. Um, again, or, do you, or do you get the same character because you like that character? Yeah. Like for a while, I was getting Marvin the Martian stuff. Do you have a character while, that I somebody getting, gets you something? Um, I was getting giraffes because yeah. I let somebody know that I like giraffes, and so everything I would get would be something with giraffes. 
And uh, so I know some people like frogs and turtles and yes, all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, so, so, let's, so it's neat yeah. if you've got a collection like that and people buy you stuff like that. It yeah. really is cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.